Everything should be done in a transparent way and we should have zero tolerance for corruption. State media reported that one session at the forum was focused on how to avoid bribery, backroom deals and inflated costs in Belt and Road projects. Green development refers to projects meeting environmental standards. U.S. Vice President Mike Pence has accused China of using debt trap diplomacy, and she appeared to respond to complaints that Chinese infrastructure projects could be expensive and had left developing countries with high debt levels. Xi Jinping and Russian President Vladimir Putin arrived for the opening ceremony of the Second Belt and Road Forum for International Cooperation in Beijing on Friday. Credit. App Australia has urged China to ensure Belt and Road projects met international standards. We will adopt widely accepted rules and standards, and encourage participating companies to follow general international rules and standards in project development, operation, procurement, tendering, and bidding, said she. He said the laws of countries where infrastructure was being built needed to be respected, and projects needed to create local jobs to deliver true benefit to the people of participating countries and contribute to the social and economic development, we also need to ensure the commercial and fiscal sustainability of all projects so that they will achieve the intended goal, he said. Debt and sustainability framework to ensure projects are affordable for poor nations would be used to guide investment in projects in the future, he said. A woman walks by a display in the shape of a train and a container vessel for promoting the Belt and Road Forum in Beijing. Credit. Ape earlier, Chinese media reported that many of the infrastructure projects were built by Chinese companies with billions in loans from Chinese financial institutions, but officials wanted this situation to change with more private investment and foreign companies involved. Xiao Yaqing, director of the state-owned Assets Supervision and Administration Commission of the State Council, said the commission would encourage Chinese companies to form consortiums or joint venture and use subcontractors from a wider field. Some of Xi's speech appeared directed at U.S. criticism of China's economic reform, even though U.S. President Donald Trump was not in the audience. She is seeking to close a trade deal with Trump next month to end the tariff war. China does not seek a trade surplus, he said, repeating previous pledges that China would lower tariffs and increase the import of foreign goods and services. China would continue sweeping reform, allowing wholly foreign-owned businesses in more sectors, protecting intellectual property and stopping the arbitrary transfer of technology, he said. She also said he hoped other countries treat students and scholars as equals, an apparent reference to a New York Times report that at least 30 Chinese academics had the U.S. visas recently cancelled by the FBI and Chinese students were also having U.S. study visas blocked. She used the speech to promote China's support of global free trade and said his country would negotiate more free trade agreements with Belt and Road participants. He also emphasized that Beijing planned to build a digital Silk Road and would promote construction of Chinese telecommunications and internet infrastructure in developing countries. U.S. analysts have expressed concerns that China will export its authoritarian style of controlled internet and use of artificial intelligence in surveillance technology to the developing world. She said science and technology exchanges, science parks and technology transfers would be a part of the Belt and Road. The Secretary of the Australian Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, Francis Adamson, attended the forum in place of a minister amid the federal election campaign. Adamson said Australia had signed an agreement with China two years ago for cooperation on Belt and Road projects in third-party markets. Kirsty Needham is China correspondent for the Sydney Morning Herald and The Age. Most viewed in world-loading its blog ads. Why?